what are the best elements of a great and effective MRO storeroom? You know, what are some of the best principles, best practices that every organization you believe should follow when spinning up their MRO storeroom? Number one is uh, inventory accuracy. So what's in your CMMS or what's in your computer system, your SAP or Maximo or whatever that case may be, what reflects in that system absolutely must reflect what's in the bin or what's in that uh, mm -hmm. location. That's why maintenance techs lose faith in the storeroom and they create these squirrel nests. It comes down to money. If, if I have a whole staff of maintenance technicians stashing company assets, that's tying up cash. I've always told my staff over the years, there are only three certainties in life. It's death, it's taxes, and you will do cycle counts. <laughs> <laughs> you, you will do daily cycle counts to ensure that the accuracy of the inventory. So what's, again, what's in the box is what's in the bin. What's in the bin is accurately reflected in the box. So think of this as more of a quality audit of your processes. Either the process failed or 99.8% of the time, someone failed to follow the process. Ensure that you're rotating the materials implement this thing called first in, first out or FIFO. One of the things I suggest is that you stamp the materials when they arrive in the receiving dock. So you date stamp those things. So you're ensuring that that material is being rotated. Implement uh, a robust PM program for your material storage. How do we store bearings? They need to be stored horizontally, not vertically. How do we store our belts, right? We don't store heavy belts on, on pegs. Look, get rid of the junk. Okay, if the item truly is obsolete, get rid of it.